Hi guys, I'm going to talk to you today about cellulosic ethanol, which is a means of producing an alternative fuel. I'm going to talk about the production, the waste associated with it, um, kind of where it's produced, the use of it, um, the environmental impacts, and the economic impacts. First, I'm going to start off with production. Biomass is used as the kind of component that actually produces uh, that's produced into the cellulosic ethanol. Uh, it's typically a four-step process. All of these four steps which we'll talk about. Uh, in terms of the biomass, what you want is something that's full of cellulose and uh, if you're using plants, the most ideal uh, most ideal plants are those that are perennial so they're grown all year long, very efficient and also can be grown almost anywhere. So that's why switchgrass is the most popular biomass used for cellulosic ethanol production. However, you can also produce cellulosic ethanol using other materials. This is municipal solid waste. It's to be composed of a bunch of woody stuff, and this would never be really used uh, in other ways, so it's great that it can be instead converted to cellulosic ethanol and be used as an energy source. If you're looking at more of the typical biomasses, such as a switchgrass over here I was talking about, it's composed of about 33%. These change for each plant, but these are in general 33% cellulose, 28% hemicellulose, 24% lignin, and 50% of other stuff such as ash or extractives. Cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignin are all carbohydrates that are polysaccharides. So they're composed of these long strings of uh, different uh, monosaccharides. Cellulose is the thing that we're looking for because it is the thing that's produced into the different uh, monosaccharides. Actually it's just a glucose B. But uh, Once you have your biomass it needs to be pre-treated and we can kind of look at the plant cell to kind of understand why this occurs. You can see the cell wall that goes all the way around the plant cell and the cell wall is composed of lignin among other things but it's mostly lignin so that accounts for why lignin is such a high percent by mass of uh, the biomass and if you look at lignin you can see it's a very complicated sugar uh, it has all these different components and it's not a straight orderly thing like cellulose which is just a chain that goes straight across. Instead, it has this very complex shape which accounts for its rigidity and also uh, the difficulty that uh, is associated with penetrating it and actually getting to the cellulose. So in order to deal with it, we go through pre-treatment pre process to kind of break this apart. The most common ones are uh, ammonium fiber expansion and dilute acid treatment which break apart these. Going on to the next step, which is cellulolysis, this is the breaking down of the cellulose. Um, here's a picture of cellulose. As you can see, it's much more orderly. It's composed of these glucose B, B, glucose B subunits, touch one after another, and they can be broken apart using an enzyme, which facilitates the reaction, in which a water will actually break apart this, and uh, this will be left with OH over here and OH over there and there will be these little glucose B subunits which are a monosaccharide and are much, easy, much easier to deal with especially going on to the next step. But here's just a picture of Novozymes which is one of the top two enzyme producers uh, that's focused on producing enzymes for alternative fuels. Novozymes and Genocor International both received uh, 33.8 million dollars the Department of Energy to continue their research in enzymes to produce cheaper alternative fuels. So this is Novozymes. The next step of the process is fermentation. This is using yeast. Here's a picture of yeast. Um, close up. Uh, the yeast helps convert the sugars into alcohols and this is important because ethanol is actually a type of alcohol which means that if we can produce ethanol, we can produce alcohol from these different sugars and we can then produce 
the ethanol. So uh, once we have this alcohol, it must be distilled. So here's a picture of a still at Nasacoma, which is one of the top silosic ethanol producers in the nation once again. And in the distilling process, all the alcohols are separated also the waters. So you're left with just the ethanol, which, uh, just a quick note, ethanol is an alcohol and it doesn't really vary from the method it's produced. So it doesn't matter if it's produced uh, as corn ethanol or cellulosic ethanol, it's all the same ethanol. And then once it's produced, it can be then used as either an additive to gasoline or an alternative to gasoline. Going on to, um, so let's go into cellulosic ethanol waste, CEW. Major component of this are the enzymes and antibiotics. Here's a picture of an actual enzyme. An uh, enzyme is a protein and it's composed of many different amino acids which are then folded together into a um, variety of different shapes. This is actually tertiary structure and uh, that's an enzyme. Uh, the problem with uh, using these enzymes to produce cellulosic ethanol is that they're put in a solution and then they can't be recovered once they are done producing the cellulosic ethanol so then they must be disposed of which is disposed of as waste. So here's um, the prescription symbol. This is just more to symbolize antibiotics and their use. They're used to um, keep the populations of the bacteria which are necessary for production uh, down. Uh, that's what the antibiotics are for. But then once again they can't be recovered and then they have to be disposed of. It's part of CW. Going on to mold. Mold is also another issue uh, with cellulosic ethanol waste. Uh, this is a picture here of tea with rice. Um, it's the mold that's typically used uh, while producing cellulosic ethanol. The problem with tea rice is that it produces both allergens and toxins which can be inhaled by humans and cause harm to them. Bacteria is also part of the cellulosic ethanol waste. Um, as I said before, it's used in some of the production steps, more some of the more minor production steps, but it's a necessary component. And uh, this bacteria, in order to keep it down, like I said before, they, they use antibiotics, which leads to antibiotic-resistant bacteria. And then, if this gets out of the lab, and then it can, um, it's then it's a resistant strand out in the open, which is pretty dangerous. Here's a close-up picture of just a bacteria. It's not a specific bacteria that's specific to cellulosic ethanol, but more of a bacteria in general. Also, acids and bases. Um, acids and bases are used in order to control the pH for the solution that the enzyme is put in, because the enzyme only has a specific pH range that it can function at. If you go too high or too low, the enzyme will denature, which means it won't be able to pre facilitate the reaction once again. So that's what acids and base are used for, and then acids are also used in the pre-treatment process in order to break down the lignin. Uh, here's just a picture of, of uh, sulfuric acid, um, just kind of to show an acid. Going on to the use, where it's used, um, the technologies, uh, we're first going to talk about universities. Um, these receive a lot of their funding from the federal government in terms of the Department of Energy, and there's many universities that are kind of leading the way through uh, cellulosic ethanol. Here is a picture of Wisconsin Bioenergy Initiative, not to really just highlight Wisconsin, but just to show that universities are doing their part. And then uh, going back to here, um, this is a picture of a UC Berkeley student, and this is a bunch of switchgrass. Um, the reason that UC Berkeley has access to this is due to a $500 million um, grant from BP in order to help them do alternative fuel uh, research. So that's why um, UC Berkeley has access to uh, all this different research. Corporations also do a bunch of the research and uh, they use the technology to produce the ethanol. So here are just two of the top 11 companies in the nation for cellulosic ethanol range fuels.